In this video, you will learn how to create these shimmer effects, which is commonly seen in social media platforms when they are loading their data behind the scene. So before you start, please remember to like and subscribe our video as I will be sharing more stuff related to Swift UI. So let's get started. Create a new project. You can give anything you want. I will give it a shimmering effect box. Then save at the locations that you wanted. So if you're wondering how we can create this effect, you can see that there is a gradient over here that starts from gray, white, gray. So we'll be using a gradient to create this effect. For some of you that are not sure how we do this gradient effect, you can just follow me along in this course. So let's create this linear gradient first. To make it easier, we'll create a new Swift UI file and give it a name of Shimmer Effect Box. So to create a gradient, the easiest way is to create a linear gradient. There are three ways, color, stop, and gradient. We can use these colors to create the gradient, which we need to provide then the colors that we want. Let's create a variable and I will call it private file gradient colors. Depending on the color that you want to give, I will give it gray, a clear color which will follow the background and probably a gray again. Then we will give these gradient colors for this colors parameter. Then the next thing is we want to tell them where is the start and the end point. So we can tell them is, let's say, leading first, then trading. So now we, you can see that we create this gradient and the next thing to do is to animate it. So let's try to create an animations. So we want the animations to appear when the view appears. So we will use on appear. Then we will perform a certain actions which is animation. So it's with animation. Then we will select is in out. Then on the durations that you want, I will give a one or maybe five or no. Then we will do a repeat forever. And auto reversal. So we will give a force so that the animation will not reverse. What it means by reverse is it will move from here to here. So you can see that when for this time when you repeat it starts from here again to here. But if auto reversal is true, it will go from here back to the top. Back to the top, which is not what we want. Then now is what is the changes that we want to change when the animations appear. So let's create a new state variable. So we need to change this is animations to true. So it will know what to change when it is animating turn from false to true. So we can give an example for the start point to be. So it will start from leading when animating is false. Then after that, it will become trading. So you'll move from here to here. But this is not what we wanted is because the animation is being squeezed. The reason is because this end point is starting from trading. But what we want is we want to move it outside of it. And there is also another issue with this is that the animation is starting from here. But what we really want is we want to start from outside. So we want to move these animations from here 
all the way outside. So how we can do this when the start point the start point only have leading trading button or this which is not what we wanted. We can create a custom unit point using this init x and y. Create a new state so that later we can just straight away change this state for animation. Let's give the init a 0, 0 first so that you will know what this x0 and y0 means. And now we create an endpoint also. So the endpoint will be 1 and 1. We can give this start point over here. And then the endpoint right over here. This start point 0, 0 means the top leading. And this 1, 1 means bottom trading. So the gradient is moving from over here to here. So now if we want to create horizontal shimmering effect which move from leading to trading, we need to straighten this thing. So how we can straighten it? We can give a 0 0.5 over here and a Y 0 0.5. Yeah, it's right over here. We don't want this starting point to start over here, but we want to start outside of it. So we will give this init point a negative one. Instead of ending over here, we want to end over here so we can move this gradient outside. Now we want to animate them to the correct location. So let's remove this thing first. Let's change the end start point and the end point for the animation. So now is the start point is roughly over here. What we want to do is we want to end over here. So we can give a 1 and 0 0.5. Then for the end point, we will give it a 2 so that it will move somewhere, maybe around here, outside of this uh, container, then a 0 0.5. Yeah, now the gradient is much more nicer. So, but I prefer to put a 0.5 more. So it will move like outside more and we can change the durations to one. Yeah, the reason it's very bright is because of the color that we choose. So if you want to make it similar to the color of this, we can use the UI color. So now the effect look much more nicer, but the direction is wrong as compared to this one. Now what we want to do is we want to move from here, the top leading to bottom trading. To do that, we just need to change this unit point to the correct X and Y axis. So let's change to negative 1.8, negative 1.2, and y negative 0 0.2 so then we also need to change over here we i prefer to change it to 1 1 and 2.2 and 2.2 yeah now we have these streaming effects that look similar to here now the next thing is to do is to create use we use this streaming effects box to create this loading profile or loading content so let's create a new swift ui file right click new file new swift ui file and let's call it a content loader so to create this uh, small reusable component for this uh, content profile loader we will first create a gstack so I will give a color of a background color of white. Then we, we want to arrange them in a vertical stack. So let's create this uh, bottom portion first. So we use this shimmering effects box. You can give a frame with a height of around 200 and then a padding of 
vertical chalk. We can put a padding right over here too. Yeah. So the next thing is we want to create this top portion. So over here it will arrange the horizontally in a hashtag. Then let's create the circle profile using the shimmery, shimmery effects box that we created a corner radius of 30 which means a frame of 60 and height of 60. Now we want to create this part so we will use a reset again and then we reuse the shimmery effects box with a frame and using a with a height of 25 let's put some padding right over here yep now we created this small portion and so the next thing is we will put them in our container view when we can look through and see how many times that we want okay let's go to content view and now let's erase this part and let's create a Z step. I will give a background color of gray so that we can see the scrolling. A scroll view, a lazy V step. So I want to give some spacing of around one. Then we will use for each zero dot dot maybe five and a content loader and let's see if we are done or not right over here we are going to put this yep and we are done so if you like the video that i created do remember to like and subscribe and i will share more stuff about swift ui in the future thank you for watching